Welcome to Virtual Church Media. In His Presence TV broadcast where all things are possible. Today we're going to talk about a place called there. Have you been there? If you've been there, you know what I'm talking about. And if you haven't been there, we're going to help take you to a place called there today. I'm David. This is my lovely wife. Joanna. We are the Herobedians, and we invite you to relax, to kick back as you're drawn in to a place called there. Joanna, would you please just play those piano keys and usher in Thank you, Lord. the presence of God. That's right. Will you take us there? We are there. To a place called there. Thank you, Lord. I just pray over you right now. I bless you in the name of Jesus. And I release his presence and his glory over you right now. To wash away all the stress of the week, of the month, all the things that have been going on in your life right now. It's a brand new season. It's a brand new season and God is taking you to a place called there. And that place is in his presence where his love reigns and his heart is for you. So close your eyes and just let the presence of the Lord flow upon you right now in the name of Jesus. Holy is the Lamb of God, mighty is your As we seek your face, Lord, we seek your face. You are holy, you are mighty. Let your love flow over them right now. Alleluia, alleluia. Amen. Thank you. A place called there. There is a place called there. Where is there? When you get there, you know it. If you've ever been there, you know what I'm talking about. There is where God is at. There is the place where God met Adam in the cool of the day in the garden. There is where you receive from God. There is the day and the place of visitation. The place called there may be different for you than it is for me. It's where God shows up and He meets you in your individual point of need and carries you out of the circumstance and into the victory. Where does He do it? He does it there, a place called there. The place called there may be different for you and me, but there is available for every person. He meets you right where you're at. I can remember times when I got a phone call and somebody said, David, would you pray for me? And as I began to pray, I couldn't feel God's presence, but I stepped out in faith and when I called upon his name instantly we were in a place called there on both sides of the phone the glory of God came what became a situation of fear became a situation in a place called there where his peace was released into the situation and shift happened right there where there a place called there. There is where we experience God. There is where we are changed into another man. Saul, who became King Saul in 1 Samuel 10, 6, he was out 
looking for donkeys. But then he met Samuel, who prophesied to him. He said, this is what's going to happen. And he named five things. And when those things came to pass, Samuel, the prophet, had released the word of the Lord. And Saul, a donkey chaser, the Bible says, the Spirit of the Lord came upon him there, and he was changed into another man. Saul of Tarsus in the New Testament was out killing Christians, thinking he was doing God a service. But Jesus met him on the road to Damascus, knocked him off his high horse of pride, and right there he was changed from a Christian murderer to a Christian who was willing to die for the name of Christ. That's how quick it can happen in a place called there. There is also where revelation is available. Revelation chapter 4 verse 1, there was a door opened in heaven and a man said, come up here, come up higher, come up hither. There's a door of revelation open where? A place called there. There is where we get mastery over the flesh. Jacob wrestled with God over the ford Jacob at a river and he met the Lord and he wrestled with God and his name was changed from Jacob which means deceiver, manipulator, supplanter. His name was changed to soldier of God. Where did it happen? It happened there. A place called there is where the prophet Ezekiel was at the river Chabar and he encountered the Lord. Where? There. There. Where are you at today? I call you into a place called there. Ezekiel 32, 22. And the hand of the Lord was there upon me. Today, we are at a place called there, in His presence, where all things are possible. God's going to pour out His Spirit today in an unusual way. If you feel Him now, you hear Him knocking on the door of your heart, invite Him in afresh. Just say, I feel you right here, because you're right there at a place called there. Joanna? Mm -hmm. And I think uh, some of you may have been have been feeling really frustrated and you've just not been getting that breakthrough. Well today that breakthrough is here because God is calling to you to say come here in my presence where all things are possible. So I just break off that frustration right now in the name of Jesus and I just release the peace of God and I command all these entities that have been surrounding you, this darkness, to go to the feet of Christ in the name of Jesus, to loose you, and I release freedom in Jesus' name. And I release that breakthrough right now. We release the angels of the Lord, according to Psalm 91, to go out before you so that your foot shall not dash against a stone. And you will only see the reward of the wicked with your eyes as the angels lift you up in His presence. And I release healing unto you right now in Jesus' name. Maybe you've been needing breakthrough on that, uh, on the health issue that you've mm. been having. I sense that there's some of you or many of you that have just had, just have not had that breakthrough in your health. Well, right now we stand in agreement with you today in the name of Jesus. And we loose that healing balm of Gilead over you from the top mm. of your head, through your whole body to the tips of your toes in Jesus' name. No longer, no longer will it be two steps forward and one step back or one step forward and you feel like it's two step back because now the Lord Himself has met you at a place called there and He's pulling you through the door and He's shutting that last season to where you won't enter in and go backward, enter in and go backward. I see drug addictions falling off, not on a 12-step program. We thank God for His 12-step program, but this is a one step holy spirit program that the Lord is doing instantly 
That's right. He's breaking the yoke of bondage right off your neck. No longer will you be forced almost like a monkey on your back. The little chirping in your ear, the drive in your body. I speak a place called there for complete deliverance throughout all of the cells of your body. That's right. All of the fiber of your being. I release the fire of God. Thank you, Jesus. To go through you right now and to supernaturally deliver all out of your chest. It just shakes out of you. And that serpent and that addiction goes. That's right. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the Son of the living God. 1 John 3, 8. For this cause was the Son of God made manifest that he might destroy, annihilate the works of the enemy. He loves you just the way you are, but he loves you way too much to leave you in this current condition. But at a place called there, he's met you right there where you're at. Yes, in Jesus Jesus name. name. And also, there are some of you that your hearts have grown cold because you've been so frustrated and that frustration has turned into a hindrance of your healing. So I invite you today to just repeat after me and say, Jesus, I repent for allowing frustration and blaming you to cloud my heart. Forgive me, Lord. Cleanse me afresh. Renew my mind. Renew my heart today and fill me with the Holy Spirit. I give my situation to you and I choose to trust you, the good God that heals me and touches my soul. In Jesus' name. If that was you today, then right now I just release the fire of God over you in the name of Jesus Mm -hmm. and for his presence to fill you like never before. And those binds of frustration must go. We cut them off right now in the name of Jesus. And we release freedom, freedom. Sing that song, freedom, 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 freedom. Freedom reigns in this place. Freedom reigns in this place. Shackles of shame are coming off. Shackles of shame are falling off right now. Freedom reigns in this place. Freedom reigns in this place right now. It is flowing, healing, it is flowing over you, over you right now. Freedom reigns, freedom reigns over you. Freedom reigns, freedom reigns over you. In the The Bible says that if any man or woman be in Christ, they're a new creation. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. The word new creation literally means a new species of being. You're regenerated on the inside where your desires are supernaturally changed through an encounter with the risen Christ at a place called there where he met you right there where you're at and he infuses you with a new DNA. No longer do you have the old nature, but you have a new nature on the inside, the nature of Christ in you, the hope of glory, Colossians 1.27. For in him we live and we move and we have our very being. Ezekiel 36.24 says, He will take out your heart of stone. He will give you a heart of flesh. He will put his spirit within you and he will supernaturally on the inside of you move you to follow his decrees and to keep his commands. His commands are not grievous. Religion's commands. 
might be grievous, but his are not. And religion requires you to do things that you're not empowered to do, but relationship with Jesus enables you to do by the power of the Holy Spirit on the inside of you, enables you to do far right. more than you could ever do in religion. Religion crucified Jesus. Relationship with the Father reconciled humanity back to the Father through Jesus. Are you tired of religion? Are you tired of do's and don'ts? Are you ready to reach out and take the hand of the one who said, it is done, it is finished? He never said on the cross to be continued. He said, it is finished. Bill paid in full. Receive me in and I'll infuse you with more power than you could ever find in the world, more power than you could ever find in witchcraft or the occult or any religion. This is relationship based where you're a conduit of heaven into the earth. You are the gate of heaven. If Christ dwells in you, nothing is impossible with him. And when you're in alignment with him, nothing is impossible with you, for you, and through you. For it shall be done in earth as it is in heaven through your vessel of clay. Will you allow him to change you now That's right. into the image and likeness of his son? Supernaturally, right here, where? Here, which is a place called there. That's right. I'm also getting that um, <clears throat> some of you have been in a marriage that hasn't been fulfilling. Um, your spouse has, really your heart has grown cold towards your spouse. And the Lord is saying right now, allow me to change your perspective. Let me give you the perspective of heaven and repent of the thoughts that you've had towards your spouse. You see, once you're able to hand that over, and instead of looking at your spouse and seeing all the things that are flawed in them and what they've done wrong, because there are things that they're not perfect and they have done things that are wrong, but the Lord wants you to move, come into higher ground today in that. So Lord, I pray for these marriages right now where the spouse is not happy, and neither one is happy, and they become each other's enemy, and they become cold towards each other. And Lord, right now I pray your fire in Jesus name mm -hmm. redemption I release redemption and restoration repair of the repair breach repair of the breach repair to the damage that's been done in each other's hearts forgiveness and forgiveness to abound and for you to be the first person to change you can't change your spouse but you can change yourself you see we can't play ball unless we throw the ball back and somebody throws the ball back at us well, you guys have been playing the all old ball game. And the Lord says, I'm changing the game. And now I'm changing the ball. And I need you to change that ball today. I need you to change the game. And it starts with your own heart. So Lord, I pray where there's been bitterness and hardness now, that you would shift that. Make their hearts soft. Let it abound, overflowing with the rivers of your presence. That song, Let Healing Rain, Let Healing Rain. Healing Rain yes. in your heart right now. Just receive. Healing rains in your heart Let the tears right flow. Now. Overflowing with His love for you. Oh, He knows the pain you've been going let him touch you, let him hold you right now, let him change your heart and the way you see these things, healings flowing in your heart right now, taking away all the hurt and the pain, let his love flow through your soul. Oh, His love is flowing in your soul. 
no mountain he cannot move. There is no sea he cannot part on your behalf. So it's time to let go of the years of bitterness and the desert places and let his love flow through you. Flowing through you right now. Washing away and melting away the hardness. And he's sorry for all the pain But today is a new day. Today is the day of their here in God's presence. And he's doing a new work and it starts with you. A new way to respond, a new way to react, and a new language, a new game that you're going to play, a new ball game, the ball game of heaven. As you allow God to touch you right now. Thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. can feel his presence. Sometimes you just want to rest in his presence. In his presence there's fullness of joy. In his presence there's healing. In his presence there's provision. In his presence there's victory. In his presence there's new ideas, revelation, witty inventions in his presence there's peace that's right in his presence there's power that's in right. his presence as you rest your head upon his chest and just relax where right there you're at a place called there it's a safe place. It's the Psalms 91 protection. It's the cleft of the rock. It's where no weapon formed against you prospers. That's right. And every tongue that has risen against you in judgment is condemned. Where? Right there. Because in Him you live and move and have your very being as this program comes to a close here in the next few minutes know this when you leave this program you don't have to leave a place called there you can bring the place called there where you're at now with you and release there to others that's right and for the, if you have not known love and you want to know what love really is and what it feels like i invite you today to invite jesus into your heart and it's really easy because everyone has an rsvp to heaven it's got, you have an RSVP with your name on it. And the way that you RSVP is you simply say, Jesus, come into my heart. Fill me with your love and your presence. Forgive me the things that I have done. And fill me with your Holy Spirit. Touch me today, I pray. If you pray that prayer today, this is the beginning of knowing what love is, and it will change your life forever like it did mine. When I first came to the Lord, I didn't love God, I didn't know God, and I told Him that. 
I went up to an altar call and I said to my, in my heart, God, I don't love you and I don't know you. But today, I ask you to fill my heart with a love that I've never known before. And fill me with a passion that I don't have. And change me. And that was the beginning of the most incredible journey of my life. And I know what love feels like. I know what it feels like to be overwhelmed by a presence of His love that nothing on this earth can fill. Not sex, not eating, not shopping, nothing, not no relationship. Only the name of Jesus, Adonai Yahweh, our God. He can fill that heart. He can fill that void as you turn everything over to Him today and let him touch your heart, let him wreck you in his presence. So I pray for you today, you pray that prayer, that all of you, whether you already know the Lord or not, feel his love, touch and encompass your soul, and you will be transformed forever in the name of Jesus. Amen. As we close out, we encourage you to uh, get my book called Jet Ride to Hell, Journey to Freedom. It's on Amazon. It's on Kindle. You can also get it off our website at virtualchurchmedia.com. But it's my journey, the journey that started with an arrest scene of the stolen jet and a Mercedes Benz in a bag of cash that sent me to federal prison, but in a prison cell. In response to my mother's prayers, Jesus showed up. And that was a place called there that began the journey to freedom. We'll see you next week with a place called there, part two. How to get there every time. Just want you to know, we love you. I'm David. This is my wife, Joanna. Mm -hmm. We are the Herobedians in his presence where all things are possible. That's right. Nothing is impossible. That's right. With Jesus. God bless you. God bless you.